Hi friends, welcome to Lex Miles 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to talk about find function in Tableau. Let's get started. Find function returns the index position of substring in string or 0 if the substring isn't found. So it returns the position of the substring when the substring is matched with the string or else it will return 0 to us as a result. If the optional argument start is added, the function ignores any instances of substring that appear before the index position. For example, the first character in the string is position 1. So it always considers position 1. Uh, for example, if you pass a string inside find function, always the first character is considered as first position. So if a letter is starting at the first position and you passed a argument 2, in such case it will ignore the first position and check from second position onwards. So likewise, first let us know the syntax and examples and then we can understand more by practical exercise. So the syntax is like this, find of string, comma, substring, comma, start. So we have three arguments which we need to pass in find function. Start is an optional argument. You can, you, you can either pass it or you can even ignore it. So string is mandatory because this is essential to check whether the substring is available within the string or not. And start is optional because from where you want to check it is optional. For example, if you don't provide a start argument, it will automatically check the entire string and gives us the result. And we have three examples right below. Find of calculation comma ALCU equal to true. So calculation is nothing but the string and ALCU is the substring. So here we didn't provide any start argument. That's why it has checked the substring in the entire string and returned true. Because from second position onwards, we have the ALCU available. That's why we got the position number as 2. So find returns the position of the character or the substring passed within find function. And in the second example, find of calculation comma computer equal to 0. Here we have passed the substring computer and if you observe in calculation there is no string called computer that's why it returned 0 for us. And in the third example find of calculation comma a comma 3. So here we have provided the argument third argument start. So we have provided from third letter or third position onwards we should be finding the a. That means it should return the position of A for us. So from where it is available. So if you observe 1, 2, 3. These are the, this is the third position. L is the third position. From third position onwards, we have A available at seventh position. So if you observe, this A is ignored because we provided the position over here. So when we provide a start argument, the previous letters will get ignored and it will find the substring from the position provided. So if you observe from third position onwards, it is calculating. And in the fourth position, we have C. Fifth position, we have U. Sixth, L. And seventh is A. That's why we got the result as 7. So let me open Tableau desktop and explain how to use find function in Tableau. I have opened Tableau desktop application and I have taken sample superstore data and I have created a new sheet and renamed it as find function in Tableau. So let me create a calculated field. So right beneath the data source, we have a drop down. I'm, I'm clicking on that and there's an option available to create calculated field. I am clicking on that and I'm typing find. Find of so as soon as I search or type for find, I can see the function popped up over here. And as soon as I type find completely, the find has been highlighted and the syntax and the description and the example is displaying 
right beside that. So find of string comma substring comma start. So tab view says that it returns the position of a substring within a string. So like I said, it will identify the position of the substring within the string provided or zero if the substring isn't found. So it will return zero if the substring is not found. If the string, if the start argument is defined, any instances of substring that appear that appear before the start position are ignored. As we discussed in my previous example, if you observe that in calculation word, we have A twice. So if you take this example calculation, we have A available at the second position and A available at the seventh position. So if I provide uh, three as a start argument, it will ignore the A at the second position and give us directly seven. So that's what we have seen in my previous example but if uh, if you observe here there is no start argument so it is returning 2 for us so that's what tab is saying so any instances of substring that appear before the start position are ignored the first character in the string is position 1 so this is the first position of the string because for every string you provide the first letter of the string is considered as the position 1 now let's build a calculation I am I am taking the same calculation. Find of calculation comma ALCU. I am not providing start argument. Let's just test it simply. Find test. I am renaming the calculation name. I am clicking on OK. And I am changing the standard size to fit width. To fit the text properly. Now I brought in the find test calculation to text and it, it returns number. That's why since it is a measure, aggregation perform aggregation is happened on top of that. So to avoid that, we need to convert it to dimension and then change it to discrete. So it returned two because I didn't provide start argument. Now let me edit this calculation and provide a start argument. So I am providing three. Now, so instead of ALCU, I am providing A and providing the position 3. Now, let's check. So, see, we got the result 7. So, let me edit the calculation to explain it clearly. So, if you observe here, this is the second position. Now that I have provided, it should consider from third position. So, it ignored this particular A which is available in the second position and calculated from third position. So we have A available at seventh position. That's why it gave us seven. So this is how we can pass a static value and get the position of a string. Now let's do the same for using dynamic values. Let me duplicate this sheet and let me bring a column. Suppose I'm bringing category. I have three records in category dimension. So we have furniture, U in furniture and in office supplies we have U and in technology we don't have U. So now I'm going to create a calculated field. Now what I'm going to do now is find of category. I'm passing category because what happens when you are passing a static string is it will uh, perform or it will find the position of that particular string alone. When you have uh, millions of records, it is impossible to do uh, to write a find function for each and every record. So to do it all at once, you can uh, directly pass a dimension within find function and can get the position of the string required. Now what I am trying to pass is I am trying to pass u as a substring. Now I am not giving any position because uh, we have multiple records over here and we don't know where you will be in all uh, records. So I am simply mentioning the substring alone. I am renaming the calculation as find and I am clicking on OK. Now I am bringing the, I am removing this find test. I brought the find to 
text mark as i already said it will automatically perform aggregation operation because it's a measure so we need to convert this to dimension and change it to discrete so if you observe this particular scenario in furniture we have u available at second position and we have u available at ninth position for office supplies whereas in technology there is no u displayed or there is no u available in technology string that's why it displayed zero so this is how you can use find function to find further substring required for you thank you guys thanks for landing at my channel lakshmills 31 if you like my video or like my content please like share and let me know in the comments what could have been better and if you have any questions for me do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon have a nice day bye bye